Today I'll be teaching you how to make microcosms. Microcosms are the starting point for most anaerobic work. These incubations give you an idea of what could be happening at your field site within your lab. These are made up of sediment and groundwater typically, or you could also use a basal media. And then you can amend with a carbon source or a terminal electron acceptor depending on what's available at your field site and what you're trying to study. We always set these up inside the anaerobic chamber, but because of filming difficulty, I will show you on the bench. So make sure you set it up inside the chamber. We typically collect our sediment in canning jars such as this. We do this because A, they're easy to sterilize, and B, they seal well. This means that we can keep them for a long time in the refrigerator without them going oxic. So basically, as long as you don't open it when it's outside of the anaerobic chamber, it will always be anoxic. Because we will be doing this in the anaerobic chamber, it is very important that you are prepared ahead of time. We typically take everything into the chamber 24 hours ahead of time, to make sure that there's no trace amounts of oxygen left on the materials. The things you'll want to prepare and sterilize ahead of time will be bottles, your stoppers, weigh boats to weigh out your sediment, a funnel to pour into your bottles, a spatula, and a set of tweezers. We'll take our media and our sediment in the next day. Because we'll be making, dispensing our media in the chamber, you'll want to make sure that you make a larger amount and we'll make it up in one bottle. To do this, you will add everything first and sterilize it. And as soon as you get it out of the autoclave, you'll come back and put your gassing probe through the foil. You want to make sure that it is uncapped because of the pressure that can build up in the autoclave. Once this is cooled back down to room temp, you will unwrap your sterilized cap and remove the foil and the gassing probe quickly and screw this down as tight as possible. This will give you a rather good seal until you can get it into the chamber, which I would recommend doing immediately. Once you get your media and your sediment into the chamber, you'll want to go ahead and reduce your medium and set that to the side. Now we'll start weighing out our sediment and putting it into bottles. This is what your funnel will be for. You'll put your funnel in your bottle like this and grab your sediment. And everyone sets up microcosms a little bit differently. Most people like to use a ratio of three parts media to two parts sediment. Other people will do it about 50% to 50%. So it's kind of up to you. You'll want to weigh out your sediment and try and get it as exact as possible in between each replicate. And you'll want to try and avoid rocks or sticks or anything that would make your replicates different. You'll want to add all of your sediment to the bottles first before you move on to the next step. So now that you have all of your sediment into your bottles, you'll want to start adding your media. So you'll uncap your media, and draw it up, add it directly onto the sediment, grab out a stopper sterilely with your sterile forceps, and put it into place. Once you get all of these caps, we'll take them all back out of the chamber. Make sure that your sediment is sealed well before you bring it out of the chamber. Now that you've taken all of your microcosms out of the chamber, you will crimp seal them and then exchange the headspace with nitrogen CO2 three times on the pressurizing gassing station. After this, you can add your carbon source and your electron acceptor. Make sure you have plenty of extras for all of your controls. You'll have to do controls that have the carbon source but do not have the electron acceptor, ones that have the electron acceptor but not the carbon source, some with neither the carbon source or the electron acceptor, 
and then also heat kill controls to make sure there's no background activity that could be interfering with your data.